I take immense pleasure in welcoming our first speaker for the day, Ms. Janice Vaz, a communications professional who has been working with Integrated Brandcom since she graduated from MAMCS in 2016. She has grown within her organization from a PR executive to an assistant manager at a rapid pace. We feel extremely privileged to have you with us today, ma'am, and I invite you to take over. Thank you so much. So a lot of my peers say that the field that we work in may lose its relevance soon, but I don't feel that's the case. I truly understand the efforts that go behind creating an international event of this kind and hats off to the entire team behind this event, especially for taking it virtual this time. I have been part of Media Meet for five years here at Christ and the growth has been tremendous. So good job on that. During my last semester at my final year in MEMCS, I had absolutely no clue about what I wanted to do. We were asked to look at our final internships as a step into the company or the industry that we wanted to work in. I went all blank. I'm, I'm sure most of you can imagine the stress that comes in when most of your batchmates get placed and you don't. That is when I started sending out my CV to every communications firm I could find on Google Things started getting positive and that's when I got a confirmation from Brandcom. So the company that I work for Brandcom, I'm sure might be familiar to a few of you as you all either might be currently interning with us or have interned with us in the past is a PR digital and is a PR digital and brand advisory firm. We have been in the industry over the past 21 years and have grown not only in terms of our clients or geographies, but as well as our employees where we handle clients from sectors including education, lifestyle, healthcare, real estate, technology and much more. Now at the start of my career, if you would have asked me what PR was, I would have given a standard de uh, definition from the textbook that we have all mugged up for our exams. But today I can tell you that what we do in PR goes way beyond the theoretical definitions. So one of the standard ones, one theoretical definition that I could find is that public relations is a strategic communication process that builds mutual relationships between organizations and their publics. Now the reason why I say it goes beyond this definition is because there are a number of stakeholders that are not even included in all of them. What public relations actually is, is a practice that a brand employs to connect with their stakeholders through multiple means such as direct communication, the media and the digital world to tell their brand story, including their offerings. Ironically, during a training session that we had at work, we all realized that uh, most, most of our family members and our friends never really understand what we do. And uh, we either say that we work in the media or are in the field of marketing. The importance of public relations is something that has been mistaken by a lot of people. And I cannot count the number of times our clients have even asked us what is the importance of PR. But before I get into further details, I should tell you that PR is a strategic role under communication and it is the key way that a brand can speak to its audience without much spends. And this is where the line between PR, advertising or even an advertorial is drawn. So as I was saying, I joined a field and a company with absolutely no knowledge of what I'm going to do. Online reading too did no justice to what I was expecting. From the outside, the job might sound boring, but believe me, no day is the same when it comes to PR. Theoretical knowledge was definitely not enough for me or for anyone to join the field of PR and I learned it the hard way. During the first day at work, a lot of concepts were spoken to me that were completely alien to me. Building media lists, building journalist relations, drafting pitch notes, content calendars, influencers, advocacies were all alien to me. But over the due course of time, I soon came to realize that these are all important aspects of PR that are crucial to achieve what is expected of you. So the first thing to note while building a career in PR is to be open to learning about different fields. On my first day, I was told I would be handling clients from sectors spanning from healthcare to real estate. Just imagine how difficult it was for me having no background of healthcare 
on the day one of my job to write an article on the type of diabetes one that I've never heard of before. So it is important to keep your mind open to learning everything and anything under the sun. Secondly, read, read and read. Back in college, while I was pursuing my CEP, I remember this one CIA that Mrs. Suparna had given us where we were quizzed on newspapers of one week. Father Biju too, during our master's classes, had engraved this habit of reading the newspapers. Now, while we were in college, it was a pain for us to read the papers every day. But today, our day cannot begin without us reading at least six newspapers. And reading do just doesn't mean scanning papers or skipping straight, straight to the horoscope or the Bollywood pages, but reading every headline, every story which is relevant to our clients industry, the current economy and being aware of what is happening in each sector, not just in India, but across the world. But our work doesn't end at just reading. It extends to research. It includes being able to understand what is relevant or what is irrelevant for the client and being extensively thorough with your client's business and the industry they are part of and sometimes knowing much more than your client. Using this knowledge to draft reactive quotes to news that has just taken place, proactive news specs to give projections and insights on a particular development, and authoring articles as a way to position your client as a thought leader in their respective industries, and later seeing your client's name in the news brings a great sense of fulfillment. The situation of knowing more than your clients is always a fun situation to be in. Communication is extremely crucial to PR, to succeed in PR. A key task that we as PR professionals mainly do is sell our client's story to the media. How do we do this? Research and reading comes into play here because selling a new spec means you need to know much more than the journalist who has been following the industry since forever. As PR professionals, we are expected to build good relations with journalists whom we work with together to bring out stories relevant to the journalist beat as well as to the client's brand. Your ability to convince a journalist to write or speak about the client's brand is one key success factor for you as a PR professional. PR is a function of communication which is highly successful, significant for a business because a brand always wants to be seen among the best of the minds from the industry having an equal or sometimes a greater share of voice. The greater the share of voice in a story, the more impressed the client is. The feeling of receiving client appreciation is sometimes so great because clients are too hard and difficult to impress that we PR professionals live, breathe and work to see that good job on an email from the client. So a couple of minutes ago, I told you that the field that I work in may reach its end, and but I don't feel that's the case. Another reason why, upskilling. So the field has grown to such great heights that we have now moved from traditional to digital PR. Digital marketing teams and PR teams no longer work in silos, but now it is presented to the client as an integrated offering. The newspaper has a shelf life of a few hours the magazine a few days, but content on the internet does not have a fixed lifespan. When we speak to our clients now, we speak to them advising them to circulate their news coverage online, on their own personal handles, on social media, as well as on the brand social pages to ensure a great reach and wider coverage. Through all of this, the value of a three, true PR consultant is evident when you are confident enough to walk up to the head of the company and suggest ideas that are in lines with your business, the flavor of the season in the media, and also by understanding what the audience is hungry to know. In order to do this, you need to be able to understand the psyche of not just your client, but the media and the audience who you speak to directly and indirectly. This helps gain the ability to narrate the brand story in the most effective way. A lot of people come into PR thinking that the field is an easy one, but it's not. But this is not a way of me driving fear into you, but your growth in the field all depends on how you can excel in knowing, understanding, strategizing, selling your story and conceptualizing ideas 
that help the brand you're working for stand out amongst the crowd and be the best. The ability to gain these five practices or rather being a storyteller for your brand and being able to tailor make your story to the audience in a creative and a more appealing way is a sure shot way for your growth in the field. But it does not end here. It becomes the start of exploring different other ways you can help your brand reach the audience and create a lasting impact on your minds. So I have been fortunate enough to work with clients across multiple sectors spanning from healthcare to real estate to logistics and even politics. Each client comes with its own communication style and I'm sure most of you are also be aware of the brand jealousy. Now you would be thinking what is the connection between the two? So what we did is we recommended that Jealous 21 include a small bottle of pepper spray along with every pair of jeans that is sold while also highlighting the message of women's safety. This did not just help with brand sales, but it also took the brand to the masses, to the media, and it also showed the audience that the brand cares. Yet another example that I can think of right now is for another client of ours, which is called IndianMoney.com, which is a free financial education company working on the, on the model of a free missed call for free financial education. So during the time of the Kurk and the Kerala floods, which had happened around two years ago, a few of our colleagues who also come from the region were casually talking that of the impact that these floods have had on their family back home. So during a lunch conversation, we realized that this is the time where a lot of people will get fooled and cheated into buying financial products that could hurt their finances even more. So we recommended that Indian money start a helpline number towards providing free financial education as well as legal advice to these flood victims. So now the next issue became how do we reach out to these people since obviously picking up a newspaper is not something people might do at these times. While we did announce the helpline number through a press statement which got us wide coverage, we also leveraged social media especially platforms such as TikTok and Instagram, where we knew our audience or our influencers would be. And we circulated videos and messages where we tagged bloggers asked with a high follower base, asking them to recirculate these messages and thus educate the people on what Indian money is doing to help the flood victims. Now, five years into my career, I have evolved from being someone who had a superficial understanding of the field to being a storyteller to many brands in different sectors, spanning from healthcare to technology to infrastructure, which has not only helped me grow faster than my peers, but also opened doors within my own organization, which has created opportunities for me both in digital marketing as well as business development at Brandform. So I would like to conclude my speech by once again thanking the organizers for inviting me for Media Meet 2020 to share my thoughts on what it takes to succeed in the field of PR. Christ University has been a learning ground for me and has helped me grow as an individual in many ways. The field, although small, has the potential to chalk out a greater path for you and help you stand out amongst the crowd to become a great storyteller. Thank you.